Absolutely sensational, Terry. Record number 22, congratulations. Incredible. So just take well, us through that. Take it. Were you nervous? Of course I was nervous. It's, uh, it's been peeing down a rain for the last three hours. <laughs> yeah, of course I was nervous. Um, I wasn't as nervous as my engineers. They, uh, obviously, it's, they don't want to see me foul. I don't want to see me foul. Thank you all for turning up, by the way. Um, I don't well, know, what do I say? Well, put us inside the cockpit. What, what could you see? What did it feel like? The loads when you hit the sure. ramp? Yeah, I, I know it had to be super smooth. You as a racing driver understand this. It is still damp, so I had to just really be calm, not doing anything stupid about steering wheel. I just look out the top two inches of the, of the actual windscreen. When I'm in the loop, all I can see is that white line. I kind of knew I was on my way out because my engineer was screaming at me, so I knew we'd done it. It's the first time I've ever seen you shake a little bit with nerves. It kind of is. You know me. You know me for a long time. I don't normally get nervous, but tonight was edgy. We've done it. Jaguar, thank you for allowing me to be part of it. It's mega. Thanks. A free four-second adrenaline rush, rush like you wouldn't believe. Obviously, a bit more drama tonight because it's been raining this afternoon, so... It was a close call whether we was going to do it or not. I'm really glad that we did. I'm glad that the wind got up, it stopped raining. Everybody, the whole team jumped on, on drying the surface for me as best they could and uh, it worked out fantastic. The car was brilliant. When you, when you drive cars for a living like I do, I drive many different cars, it come very, very quick that I was comfortable in the car. And, and then I knew that we could definitely do this challenge. It was not a problem. So then we put in the safety modifications and that was it. We went for it, we done it. Obviously the seats were removed and I had a, a, a specially built racing seat. So beyond, a, you know, even more so than, than the racing seats you see in the race cars. Obviously I had a safety harness, a full roll cage. So all of the modifications in there were really just to protect me in case something went wrong. That's it, the rest of it, all of the suspension components, they're all the original. We've strengthened them a little because it's a six and a half G hit, which is massive. So all of the components that are on the car are on a production car. That's come off of the production line. We've just put the safety features in and practiced and gone for it. To be honest, this is, this is one of those tricks that you don't do too often. You know, it's really pushing boundaries. Of course, it's a Guinness World Record, so this has never been done up until this point. So I'm here to officiate the new Guinness World Records title for the largest loop-the-loop -loop in a car. The record to beat was 18.29 metres, which was set in 2012. They've now beat it with a total loop diameter of 19.08 metres. We're a fun-loving company at Jaguar. We have a lot of fun. It comes from within us at, uh, at the headquarters at Jaguar, and uh, we just like to enjoy ourselves. And I think you can see that in the car. You hope you can bring this car to your customer, but you don't hope the customers are going to do their own loop. So what do you expect? I mean, what do you hope from this car? What I expect from this car is we will attract people who had never thought about the brand before. I think it'll get a lot of attention. I think as SUVs go, it's a pretty cool looking SUV. It's got great stance, it's got great styling on it. It drives beautifully well. It's an aluminium body, so it's, got, it's very agile. I've driven this car. It's a very agile sports car that you just sit a little higher in. And because it's so practical, it'll appeal to a lot of people with families. And I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be hugely successful.